kids, it's me again, Crafty Agi. So cool of you to join us here on TVC Kids Club. Now, are you up for some crafting fun? Cause I'm pumped. Let's hop right into it. So today I'll show you how to make your online following game, which will help improve your coordination skills. You will need three A4 sized sheets of paper. I'm using pink luminous paper, which is pink on one end and white on the other. Although you can still use plain white copy paper. Then next we have marker pens. As you can notice, I have one thick one and four different thin ones. We'll be using these ones for our shading and this one we'll be using to draw our thick line. But in case you don't have the marker pens, you can always work with crayons. Next we have a pencil and then we have four bottle tops which I got from old water bottles and you can also get them from any other beverage bottle. Just don't throw them away. You can keep the, the bottle tops for future use. This here is a glue stick, but you can also use any other office glue. This is a pair of scissors, which is very sharp, so you need to ask the help from an adult when using it. This here is a popsicle stick, which you can get from ice cream lollies, or you can also use drinking straws. This is insulating tape, black in color, but just in case you don't get access to it, you can always use clear tape or masking tape. This is a tissue roll inning, which I got from my used up tissue rolls, so don't throw this away as well. Finally, we have a glue gun, which uses electricity, so remember to ask for help from an adult when using it. You can also use any all-purpose adhesive. In case I was too fast, you can always pause or rewind and go over the items again. So let's begin. Step one, take two A4 size sheets of paper and stick them together with tape. Step two, Make sure the white side of your paper is facing upwards as it will be our working surface. Then, using one of the bottle tops as a template, trace out four circles along the edge of one end of the paper. Step 3. Draw the same circles on the opposite end of your paper, making sure they're on the same line. This is what you should have. Step 4. Using a pencil, connect the circles using different lines such as wavy lines, zigzag lines, spiral lines, just have fun with it. Step five, go over your pencil outline with a marker pen. Step six, take your remaining A4 sheet of paper and draw four circles that can fit into our bottle tops. I'll be using my glue stick because this is small enough. Then, using your pair of scissors, cut out our four circles. Remember to ask for help from an adult when doing this. So here's a cool trick. To have us cut out two circles at a go, we will fold this paper in half with all of these circles showing on one end and proceed to cut out our circles. Then, 
Then, using our thin marker pens, color in our circles accordingly. Remember, in place of this, you can use crayons. Now, stick the colored circles into our bottle tops. Step 7. Take your tissue roll in and cut it into two. Then, take your popsicle stick and glue it down on top of your tissue roll. We'll be using a glue gun for this. I had already turned mine on a while back, so it's hot enough. Remember, always ask for help from an adult when using a glue gun. Finally, arrange your bottle tops on the edge of the sheet of your paper, like this. Using this tool as a wheel, drag the bottle tops from this end, slowly following the line, all the way till the end. Once there, shade in this circle with a matching color. For example, the inside of this top is red, so I'll need to shade this in color red. Take your marker pen or crayons and shade it in. Place it back on top, then back to the rest. There you go, you can use this line following game to help your kids learn more about colors and coordination. We'd love to see how your game stand out. Send us photos using the hashtag TVC Kids Club. So last week, we began making a dinosaur costume. Today, I'm so excited to show you how to make the last two parts, which are the feet and the tail. So we'll need a whole new set of materials. Okay, not entirely, since we'll be using some from last week. So let's go over the list. A box cutter. This is basically a craft knife. You can substitute it with a normal knife, but make sure you have the help of an adult when handling any sharp objects. This is a pencil. We'll be using two sets of scissors, one for cloth and another for cutting paper. This is a marker pen, a glue stick, these are pieces of paper. You'll need two pieces of green colored paper and one yellow paper. So they're luminous paper. If you don't have any of these colors uh, as part of your papers, you can always shade, it, shade in with crayons. Then we have a black ribbon. You can use any color by the way, whichever is available or even yarn. This is foam fiber. We'll be using it as a stuffing. And if you don't have this, you can collect old pieces of cloth material and stuff your tail with it. Here we have pre-cut belt triangles in green and in orange. You remember them from last week, right? 
Then this is old material. And here we have a glue gun, our good old glue gun. And that is it. So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. No, I don't have sleeves, but you get the point. Step one, fold your old material in half and draw a diagonal line from one end to the other. Then cut along that line using your pair of scissors, the one that cuts cloth. This will form our tail, open it out, using our glue gun, we'll be sticking down these pre-cut triangles along this edge. I'll be using orange and green felt. In case you forgot how I cut out these triangles, check out last week's video. Then, glue this bottom edge to its opposite edge. Step two, now we are going to stuff the tail with foam fiber. You can also use old pieces of cloth. Please make sure to wear a protective mask to shield you from breathing in particles from the foam fiber. Step 3. Glue two long strips of ribbon to the sides of the tail's opening. Now, we're going to seal the tail's opening using a piece of cloth. So here's the complete tail. You can see the straps, which will be tied on the waist. Beautiful spikes running all the way till the end. And I especially love how 3D it looks, don't you? Step 4. Now we are going to make the dino feet. Follow me as I draw the foot on one piece of paper. Then, take your other piece of paper, place it beneath this first one with the outline and cut it out. The reason why we are doing this is so that we can get two feet at once. Next, we'll 
draw letter C's on both feet, this will be the openings where our feet will go through. I'm going to cut out the letter C shapes. You can use a box cutter. Or you can use a pair of scissors. Let me show you how to use this. So when doing that, gently fold your paper in half like this and cut through the shape. Now, cut out small triangles from the yellow paper. Here's a trick to cutting many triangles at once. Fold your paper three times as follows. Finally, glue the triangles to the toes of the dino feet. We are done with our dinosaur costume. Yay! So let me put on everything from head to toe. We see how it looks like. So this is the head. My spikes. My back. The tail. And the big stompers. That was awesome, right? Have fun stomping around. Wow West for sending us photos of how your projects stand out using the hashtag TBC Kids Club. Subscribe to this channel for more fun videos or click the links below for more details. See you all next time. Bye!